Hey guys, welcome to the Game and Party channel. I'm Mike. I'm Jesse. And tonight we are going to be playing Tatsu. Tatsu is a game that's very similar to Batgammon. Uh, you basically roll the dice and you move your pieces around the board and try to land on your opponent's pieces and knock them off the board. Uh, we'll kind of explain the game as we go. Uh, we're not, we're not going to go through the whole teaching of it. We're going to go ahead and play it here. It's a, a great game. And so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, we're going to roll so he goes first. That's what we like to do. So I'm going to roll. And I got a six. Should have four. I will go first. All right, here we go. So I'm going to roll my dice. And a three and a one. So I got to see. One, two, three, four, five, eight, six, five to get to there. If I get to one of these green spots, I get to play another dragon out. Um, or I can just do a one. So I'm going to go one. That allows me to put a blue dragon out onto my mat here. And uh, Jesse, I still have my three left now, so I got my one. So uh, good tip here for you. Take your dice off as you use them so you know which ones you've used, so you'll, you'll be confused. You know I'll forget to do that. Uh, yes, yes, we will. <laughs> over and over again. And now I have a three left. Don't worry, I'll remind um, you. Ooh, actually, I can actually bring, bring my blue dragon out now with my three that's left and put them right out here on the board. And I'm going to do that. So I, that was a good move for me at the beginning of the game. All right. All right. What do I do? Six and a four. All right, go ahead and talk out what you're doing there. All right, so let's see. Now, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're taking a green dragon from your two spot. Yep. Moving um, it all the way over to here. Lands on a green dragon spot that allows you to take your other green dragon and put it on your mat. Okay. And take your six off. There you go. So now you have four left to spend. All right. So while she's taking her turn, I'll go ahead and explain a couple of things. So. Uh, the red dragons here are fire dragons, the green dragons are uh, vine dragons, and the blue ones are water dragons. And uh, the water dragons, if you land on an opponent's piece, you basically wash it back to the trail here, it goes back to the starting spot. If fire dragon hits it, it destroys that dragon. A green dragon is basically wraps that dragon up, it can't move at that point, kind of it held on to uh, that spot. And the object of the game is either one, eliminate all your opponent's dragons off the board so they have none on the board and none on their mat here, which is a little straw area here, or eliminate all of one type of dragon of your opponent. So if I eliminate both her fire dragons, I win, or all three of her uh, blue dragons, I win, or vice versa. Okay. All right, do you take your full move? Nope. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to take my green dragon here, and I am going to go one, two, three, four. All right. And that which kind of locks up his green dragon. Right. So now I can't move this green dragon here because it's uh, been held basically by her dragon above it. There is one way to get out of that. When you roll your dice, you can take the lower number of the dice and use that to escape, but then you burn the higher dice. So basically I don't get to use that higher die if I decide to do that. Sacrifice. Sacrifice, exactly, to escape. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. I think I'm okay with him being trapped right now. Let's go ahead and get a couple pieces off here. So I can't move here now, so I can't go one because there's already two pieces there so I can do a two one two and then I can do this as a one like that I think that's all I'm gonna do this time trying okay. to move my pieces off to get around the board here uh, black goes uh, clockwise say that. yeah black goes, exactly. black goes clockwise and white yeah. goes counterclockwise around so, the board yeah I was just about to say same thing so you notice that Mike is moving this way and then do counterclockwise or clockwise. <laughs> and I'm moving the opposite direction. And you'll see that on the board. It shows which direction your dragon's moving in. So you'll see that. All right, so I got a five and a four here. High numbers that I don't necessarily want right now. But that four looks tempting. I think I'm going to mm, get that one out. That's nice. All right, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And that's going to allow me to get that out here. So she makes it land on a fire dragon spot. She gets to put that fire dragon out on her mat now. Now, if she rolls a one, two, or three in a subsequent round, she can put it out. Or actually, if she had a one, two, or three now, she could put it out right on that two spot. But I also so. let go of his dragon here. Mm -hmm. So he gets to be able to utilize that if need be. Now. Yep. So five. Let's see. What you going to do? Huh? Oh, that doesn't do me any good. Yeah, because you don't have any more green dragons. Mm -hmm. So she can land on the green dragon spot, but she has no more green dragons to put out, so it doesn't really do her much good. Why not? All I'll right. bring this puppy full circle. All right, there we go. A one and a four. So I think that is going to let me get my other green dragon out. Ooh, or I could trap your... 
No, I can't. I can't do it. Uh, that's my dragon. That's not yours. All right. <laughs> I was so like, I'm gonna go five. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'll put my green dragon out. Uh, as my one and my. Now you do have to move both dice individually, so I do need to move one and a four. That it doesn't really matter in this situation here because there's no nothing blocking me. But if there was something on the one spot and something on the the four spot blocking me, I couldn't move that dragon. I would have to move something else. So all right. Okay. Two and a two. If you ever get doubles like that and you want to do the escape move, you can. You just sacrifice the other number. So you have to use the lower dice if they're equal. You can still do the escape move. You just get rid of one of the two numbers. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the two to put this dragon out here. It's one of them. Then I'm going to go with that same dragon and go one, two. And I'm going to go ahead and get one of my water blue dra dragons out, water blue. dragons out. Yep. And that's going to be my turn. All right. Here we go. Double fours. So the high numbers are good in the game because you get to move around the board quickly and grab spots. But they're also one, twos, and threes are great because it allows you to put your dragons out on your mat here. And I can't put my dragon out on my mat without having a one, two, or three. So, but I can move four here. So let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I can wash her green one back to her mat, which I think is exactly what I'll do. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that washes this back to her tray here if you hit it with the fire dragon it destroys it if you hit it with blue it goes back uh, but now i'm vulnerable if she rolls a three that fire dragon can come out and destroy my water dragon so I'm that's what i'm hoping i'm hoping for, for no threes <laughs> i'm hoping for no threes let's see here we go uh, come on no, shucky four ducky one. four to one sometimes you have to take chances in this game and leave yourself vulnerable in a spot where you know they could hit you, but you, you're like, oh. But uh, sometimes it pays off. Sometimes it doesn't. Hmm. And, of course, there is luck in this game because you're rolling dice. So in any game where you have dice, you're going to have a little bit of luck involved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to move that. And I'm going to move that one to get that out. All right. There we go. Double fours again. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Nope. Two, three, four. I'll wrap him around. Not, probably not a bad idea to get him moved around so you don't hit him with your dragon. So let's do that. Just go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I could move him there. Or there's something better I could do here. Yeah, let's do this. One, two, three, four. That frees up my spots here so I can get my other dragons out. Two and a six. Mm. So now you can move your fire dragon out with your two. And I'm not going to tell you what you can do with them after that. Dang it, you figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll put my dragon out with my two. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'll take this beautiful six here. And I will go one, two, three, four, five. Burn. Uh, all right. So that destroys my green dragon. I put it off to the other side of the board here. And so she can see what she's destroyed. And if she destroys all of one type of my dragon, then I lose the game. But now my dragon is out here, so I am vulnerable too. Mm -hmm. Because my dragon can de get destroyed by uh, his. Exactly, but I don't have my fire dragons out yet. So mm, not yet. I need to get them out. Ugh, I was hoping for a one so I can get that fire dragon there. That's not going to happen right now. But let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gets close to that. We need a one next time to try to grab that. Or... This dragon right here, if you roll a one, two, or three, or four, you're going to destroy another green dragon. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trap him. I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to trap him with that. And then I'll use my other three to get this guy out. No, I'm not. Because, again, you can still use your escape to move over here and destroy these guys if you mm -hmm. roll a higher number. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to do one, two, three. And there's less chance for you to destroy something right here in your next roll. No ones. That was good. That's what I wanted. No ones. She rolled a one. This dragon kind of come around and hit me here. So. Yep. Two and a four. What you gonna do? <clears throat> so if you ever played backgammon, this is a game very similar to that. It plays in about twenty minutes. It's to me, it's it's more fun than backgammon because you're playing with dragons. Um, if you're a big fan of Game of Thrones, season eight just came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I I love that show. And the dragons here are pretty cool. So a little testament to uh, Game of Thrones dragons. One, two, one, two, three, four, why not? All right. There we go. A one and a three. 
All right, so I can't move him three. One, two, three, because your guy is there. Um, I can move him one and then a three, though. So I'll do that. So I'll move my one first. Take him off of that guy. And then I'll move three. One, two, three. Now I'll release one of my water dragons onto my mat. He's not on the field yet for me to use, but he is available to get out there eventually. Three and a four. You cannot move this guy guy here because he's trapped unless you use your three and burn your four right but and i can't trapped, but you can use now this guy is actually now your own player actually traps your own guy too yeah so i have to so, move that one first uh, no the outside guy first yeah, that so guy. she's got to move the blue dragon on the outside first you she's kind of pinned her own guy in here um so and you cannot escape your own guy if i remember correctly you can't escape your own person you have to actually move him first and then get the other guy out okay so all right washing one of my green dragons back in my Tray over here. Oh, I got three. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm jumping the gun here. I'm sorry. You got a three left. All right. So she trapped her uh, fire dragon by moving that three on top there, but she also protects her mm -hmm. fire dragon from getting hit or washed back now. So that's good for her. All right. So three and a six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to get him to here so I can get the fire dragon out. Um, actually, let's do the three here. Let's do one, two, three. I'll give me another my, my green one you just washed away back out there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to skip over that spot. I don't want to skip that spot. I want the fire dragon. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That makes him vulnerable over here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do, do this guy here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this guy's actually in the middle here. There we go. And that's my three and six. I didn't take my dice off when I did them. As usual, I forgot to do that. Six and a two. I feel like he's playing Jeopardy music right now. Actually, you know what we listen to? The Game of Thrones theme. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. The Game of Thrones theme would be perfect music to play while you're listening uh -huh. to this. We usually listen to music while we're playing this um, from uh, some of these websites that play board game music. I love but um, unfortunately, due to copyrights, uh, we don't put those on while we're playing uh, on camera here. All right, four and a two. Can I get a fire dragon out? One, two, three, four. I can. Well, I can do my green dragon. Ooh. Yeah, let's do the green dragon. I'm going to go one, two, and then one, two, three, four. That releases one of my fire dragons on my mat here. One and a three. Notice she's hanging back this <clears throat> fire dragon here, hoping to come around here and hit one of my guys when they start coming out. That's one of the strategies in the game. So we'll see how that plays out as I uh, move my dragons out here. I have four dragons on my mat, so if I roll a one and a three or any combination of one, two, or three, I can move two dragons out, which is great, but then this fire dragon can come around and start destroying them. So. There we go. I got a two, so I can put a dragon out. And I got a five also. One, two, three, four, five. It doesn't really do much good. One, two, three, four, five. No, it doesn't do any good either. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two, one, two, three, four, five. I cannot move him five because you were blocking me. So let's do this guy five. One, two, three, four, five. In danger here. If she rolls a two and a five, she can uh, destroy two of my green dragons. But did not happen. A four and a six. I got lucky. <laughs> yeah, you did. It's the, it's nothing like getting that perfect roll that uh, uh, when you get to nail somebody's dragons. But when it doesn't happen, it's <laughs> good stuff. So let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Come on. Good stuff. Good stuff. Come on. Yes. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. One, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's rough. So I can put my fire dragon out with this one on my one spot here. But if I do that, uh, it makes him vulnerable. And I thought, oh, I can move him five. One, two, three, four, five. It puts him right in front of your fire dragon. So you roll a one, I'm then losing a fire dragon. So instead of doing that, I am going to do one, two, three, four, five. Dang it. Hoping to get that fire. I need a four here. One, two, three. I need a four to 
get another fire dragon out. So let's just do the green dragon then. Let's do one. Actually, no, I'll do a blue dragon. Yeah, let's do a blue dragon. And then let's go one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just hoping for no ones now. Whew. Two and a five. Ah, do get to destroy another green dragon though. And so I'm down two green dragons. I only have two left in the game. If she destroys both of those, I am done. She wins the game. But you do have four green dragons. You start with three on the mat, and the rest of your dragons in your tray over here. There we go. Two and a three. Ah, yes. All right. That helps me so I can go a three, and then one, two. Oh, nice. And I get to destroy... One of her fire dragons. Mm, that, was that, was, that was a really good roll for me right there. I needed that. All right, five and a six. Big mm. numbers. Going to make some big moves around the board. What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? All right, she pinned down my water dragon with that one. If she leaves it there. Wash away my green one, and she's doing that. All right, so she washed away my green one. He goes back to the tray. He's not destroyed with her water dragon here. Um, but she left her water dragon vulnerable here on my two. I could pin him down if I had to roll two here. Pinning down is not that bad, though. So let's see what happens. Three and a three. One, two, three. Ooh, I can get another green one out if I do that. One, two, three. Put that green one out there. And I'll get to watch this one away. One, two, three. Wash that guy back to your tray. And there's my threes. Oh, double threes again. So there's some risk taking in this game. You know that if you roll some good numbers, you want to uh, set yourself up in a good spot. But if you, if that good spot also leaves you vulnerable to get attacked or get washed or get uh, a fire dragon on you, uh, you take a chance with that. Uh, last time we played, um, I was in a position where I was like, oh, as long as she doesn't roll a five and a six, I'm good. She rolled a five and a six. <laughs> All right, double twos. A lot of doubles coming out. Oh, That's the one thing gosh. I don't like about this game. I, I wish yeah. in uh, in backgammon, like in backgammon, when you roll doubles, you get to like, move twice and something mm -hmm. pretty cool. Uh, this one, that doesn't really happen. Um, mm -hmm. But if you do have two dragons on one spot and you roll doubles, then you can move those and mm -hmm. stack them back on top of each other, which is kind of cool. Uh, but oh, I see. You said you said oh no. Uh -huh. You would just say oh shucky ducky because uh -huh. uh, I, I get to go one two and destroy a water dragon. Yeah, That's that what, is why I said shucky ducky. It. And I get another two out of this. And let's see. I can move this guy to. Well, I can just move this guy to and trap him. Or I can move him to and then pull out another water dragon. Oops. Hmm. So what should I do? Should I trap her water dragon here? Or should I go ahead and get another water dragon out of my mat? I have another water dragon out. It's very powerful. But trapping your water dragon is pretty powerful. Also, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to trap your water dragon. I'm going to do the two and trap them down. Okay. A five and a two. Dog it. Mm. All right. Using your two for that. And your five left. Mm. All right. Move him five there. No, I'm not moving him. No, five. you don't have to. You can leave him right there. Hmm. Running out of options here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as your pieces start getting destroyed and getting washed away out of the game, you uh, you have less and less options. That is a good move because if you left him here and I rolled a one, I two, know. three, four, that'd have been that'd have been game. So good move on moving him there. All right, here we go. Oh, there's the four. I needed two. I would have won it with that one. <laughs> I'm glad you moved him. Or, I mean, no, you're glad you moved him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm playing good sportsmanship. I'm happy she moved it. <laughs> All right. Six and a four for me. Um, I saw you. I saw that. All right. Uh, you know, I get to edit this later. I can see everything you're on camera, right? <laughs> All right. Six and a four. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Get another fire dragon out. Bam, a six. Get him out. And then one, two, three, four. I don't have any more. I feel like I can land on the green dragon spot here, but that doesn't help me because I don't have any green dragons in my tray uh, to put out. Uh, I have one on my mat here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Six is done. My four is left. One, two, three, four. I can move the blue one around. 
yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go one, two, three, four, and that's move. Five and a one. No! <laughs> yeah, but that leaves me super vulnerable. Well, so let's step, take a step back for a second. Do that again. So you have a five and a one. So remember, you have to move two dice individually. Mm -hmm. So if you move the five as your first dice, you're, you're going to stop here, which allows you to put a blue dragon oh, yeah. on your map. Yeah. Now, if you move your one first, because uh, one, two, three, four, five. If you move your one first, then you get to put a green dragon out. So which one would you rather put out? Dragon. So you get, okay, so you're gonna do your five first. So you land here, mm -hmm. put a water dragon. Now you take the one, mm -hmm. and you destroy my blue dragon, and he is dead. Wah, 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 wah. He's dead. All right. So it's important to make sure you uh, don't combine the dice and just move five or six or whatever the, the combination is. Make sure you move one die and then move the other one. Um, one because you can be blocked, and two because you get to do multiple things when you go across the spots. Double fours. Double fours. Let's see. Four. One, two, three, four, ah, five, ah, six, ah. seven, eight. Ooh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would hit that green dragon there. That leaves me very vulnerable to your guys here. And I can't get this guy out, either one of these guys out, because I need a one or a three to do that. I did not roll one or three. I can escape this guy. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use the escape move. So basically, I burn one of... You burn the higher of the two dice. If they're matching, it doesn't matter which one it is. So I burn the four and use the other four to go one, two, three, four. And I escape. This guy comes down. And now my blue dragon is available to move around the board. A one and a five. You done? Nope. Yeah, it's five left. Okay. Oh, washing me back. All right. Here we go. A three and a two. <sighs> oh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna use my three and go one, two, three. Then I'm gonna use my two to put out my fire dragon and destroy one of your blue dragons here. You go to the right rear, your graveyard there. I want this says something in uh, you know, uh, Japanese or yeah, you're Japanese, you're Japanese, and uh, I wonder what Japanese it says on the side of the board. I had to look that up. So it says on the side of the board. I wonder, I wonder if it says dead dragons. Ooh. Oh, she rolled a one. Oh, oh, so she destroyed my fire dragon. Yes. That's not good, folks. That's not good. I was hoping for no ones. Oh. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need a six or some combination of a six. For the win right here, folks. Damn, this microphone just picked it up like crazy. All right, here we go, folks. Oh, got a seven. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. But I need to move him past you now because uh, if not, you're going to roll, you can roll a six and hit me. So I need to get him past you. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I don't have any green dragons to put out. I'm going to go one, two, three, and go there. And avoid you destroy my other fire dragon. And there's a six. If I left him there, game over. Mm -hmm. game over. So that's how the game goes. So it's a pretty simple game to play. Uh, it doesn't take much to learn this game. Uh, it didn't really go through a lesson at the beginning because I think just watching the gameplay go through kind of teaches the game pretty quick and easy because uh, there's not very many rules to it. So uh, if you feel like I missed a rule or forgot to teach something or we messed something up, Leave it in the comments. Let us know. She's trapping my fire dragon now. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Double sixes. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's actually a really good move for me. It would protect my fire dragon, and it would escape him uh, by burning one of those sixes, basically. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to burn a six, and then use the other six to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And now because I have my two guys stacked on top of each other, uh, she can't hit me and destroy my fire dragon. So I'm in a good spot there. 
And two, there you go. And get another green dragon. It's good to have dragons on your mat, too, because the other way of losing is none, you don't have any fire, you don't have any dragons on the board and none on your mat. You can still have some in your tray, but if you don't have any on the board and none on your mat, you've lost the game also. We have not seen that happen yet. We, neither one of us have done that, have we? Mm -mm. Mm. It's, it's always been fire dragons. We're, we're all about the fire dragons. <laughs> destroy, destroy. All right, here we go, folks. I need some good numbers here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And mm. that's the game, folks. The fire dragon goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And I've destroyed two fire dragons, both fire dragons. So if you destroy all of one type of dragon, you win the game. And you only have two fire dragons in the game. And so I got to work that one there. So GG. Good game, baby. Good game. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you go. So that's the game of Tatsu. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it's, again, it's very similar to Batgammon. Uh, we used to play Batgammon a lot, and we loved that uh, before we discovered modern board games and started playing all these cool new games. Uh, Tatsu's awesome. Plays in about 20 minutes. In fact, I don't know how long this has been recording. Uh, yeah, we're at 20, we're about 30 minutes. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And leave us some comments and uh, subscribe, like, and come watch it again. We'll, we'll be back on Game Party Channel. Bye, guys. Signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, how about give us a like and maybe subscribe. If you have an idea for a video for us to do in the future, we'd love to hear it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.